Oh, sí, sí. Hola, Jenny. Gracias, gracias. Hola, ahora sí me escuchas. Sí, sí. Ahí estamos. Ah, es que yo igual, no, solo a media escuché que dice hello, pero y solo estaba yo, dije, pues a mí me está saludando. <risa> Cabal. Sí, estoy probando aquí un, ayer por Mateo de Máquina y quería Sí, yo creo que igual, y es más, yo iba a resistir la mía porque creo que tenía problemas de audio. Ah, también. ¿Qué ¿Qué tal, ¿Quién de mes estaba? Bien, bien, gracias a Dios. ¿Con sí, todo? Con todo. Uh -huh. Ahí tratando de ¿Sí? avanzar y aprender aunque sea un poquito, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí, porque fue un gran salto a las, a las otras. Sí, cabal. <risa> aunque, creo que aunque, la forma. aunque te felicito. Ah, <risa> gracias. ¿Por qué? <risa> ah, porque, bueno, no sé, vea, pero sí he notado tu avance. Como contigo hemos estado desde el del módulo 1. Ah, ah, cabal, cabal. Ajá, sí. sí, sí. He notado ahí el avance, no creas. No, no soy la teacher, pero he notado. <risa> No, igual usted, igual usted. Ay, ahí tratando. Ahí estoy. Sí, tratando. Sí, La verdad sí. es que creo que al final todos tenemos el mismo objetivo, pues, ¿verdad? Esperamos cumplirlo. Cabal. Sí, hombre. Aunque, ay, ay, aunque ay, ay, yo ay, estoy ay. ahí un poquito en problemada porque para nosotros eh, tenemos temporada alta ahorita ya. Entonces, sí, eh, ajá, ah, sí, entonces eh, el problema nuestro, cabal, es que Incluso yo ahorita acabo de estar medio, medio comiendo y trabajando. Entonces, sí, así nos toca. Uh -huh. Y aparte de eso, este, pues también en la empresa, yo le he venido diciendo módulo a módulo, ¿eh? pero lo que pasa es que los contables están bien ocupados y no quieren estar mandando la parte de siempre estar la, la información que se requiere, ¿verdad? Para inscribirse en el siguiente módulo. Ah, ajá. Si sí, yo te igual por poco y me quedo. Se atrasó los recursos humanos, pero me presioné y mandaron todo. Sí, a mí, a mí me dijo ya el gerente, me dijo, mire, me dijo, y eso no lo pueden mandar cada tres meses uno. Me mire, le dije, la verdad que yo he estado viendo, le dije, pues sí, vea, lo que es entendible, ¿va? porque uh -huh. las áreas co este, contables también pasan bien, bien atareados. Y el sí, cabal, sí. yo creo que a última hora lo, lo mandó. Entonces, uh -huh. creo que es algo que pues debería tomar en consideración la administración de inglés corporativo para ayudarnos también, ¿verdad? Porque él me dijo, por lo sí. menos cada tres meses estar mandando la información, pues, se hace, me dijo. Déjeme verle. Uh -huh. Si no, quién sabe que vaya a continuar también, ¿verdad? Lo que explicaron al principio era que porque eh, es como... Es algo que nosotros podemos aprovechar. De repente elegimos no cursar el curso ¿va? para los que están como esa situación que usted tiene. De repente se atrasa o no. Dan esa opción a no, a no seguir para no escribirse y, y no lo vayamos a terminar. Así he entendido yo. Por eso lo hacen cada, sí. cada modo. De hecho, de hecho, yo estaba consultando porque sí creo que mi tendencia es que tal vez por lo menos hoy que es la temporada alta no, no continúe Ajá. entonces eh, y de ahí a cuando sea ya en enero que ya se pone un poquito enero. mal ajá volver a arrancar vea no hombre, no hombre, dele a que sea así despacio <risa> para terminar junto con don Pablo y, y, y no sé qué más andaba ahí de los primeros Carol, los Carol, este, uh, el, Carol Elena Elena eh, quiero ver quién más estaba en el grupo. Daisy. Os, Oscar, eh, Daisy. Daisy entró Oscar. el segundo, el segundo. Ajá. Sí. Pero Cabal. sí. Eh. El que no este, supe ya fue de, de Juan José. No sé. Ah, Nelly. de la otra, la que parecía Belinda. ¿Qué la Belinda? <ríe> la de la unión. Me olvidé ah, que esta caña. Ah, ya, ya. Este, Ajá. yo me acuerdo de Nelly y de Juan José. Nelly, Nelly. ¿eh? Ajá, que se nos quedaron Nelly, ahí. Nelly, Nelly. Bueno, a ver qué habrá pasado con ellos. ¿eh? Lo, que, lo que pasa es que a veces, 
Sí, uh -huh. cada, cada quien, ¿verdad? Porque igual a veces me da pena que, puchica, estar pidiendo permiso o a veces estar de oyente, va. Sí. Igual que yo ahorita este módulo sí lo empecé mal, ¿no? de oyente, más que tenemos un curso obligatorio también en el trabajo. Mañana, los miércoles, cada miércoles, cada 15 días, los miércoles, cada 15 días, de 6 a 8. De salir corriendo, acá llego a las tipo 9. Y sí, lo empecé hasta ahorita, que esta semana me logré nivelar. No, pero sí, eh, no de verdad. Me, me costó. <risas> de verdad, lo, lo, lo felicito, créame, sí le he notado eh, la diferencia, la verdad. Algo se ha captado, ¿verdad? Eso sí, sin lugar a duda. Sí, sí, claro. Ah, si nos ponemos a comparar al, al principio, sí, un no. avance ha habido. <risas> Cabal, por lo menos que sea, lo saludo y ya lo sentimos un poquito más suelto. ¿va? Cabal. Sí, ahí sí, la, no. toda la parte bueno. de inglés sí lo he sentido pesadito, pero esa es la forma correcta. Sí, cabal. No, y qué es lo que platicaba, no me acuerdo con quién lo estaba platicando, de que se vuelve difícil, porque pues, no es lo mismo cuando uno está estudiando, ¿va? está dedicado, está concentrado. Incluso me dice alguien, en la hora de almuerzo, en la hora de almuerzo a mí me toca, este, ¿cómo se llama? Pues hacer Uber. Te recordás que creo que... Y bueno, el módulo, cuando estábamos el módulo 1 y 2, hasta dejé unas carreras porque dejé de, de hacer Uber sí. por lo mismo. Sí, 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 me acuerdo. O sea, ahí se me complica a mí. Me ponía hoy conduciendo, que no sé qué. Sí, ajá, cabal, cabal, o sea, con toda la pena del mundo, vea, pero, pero sí. Y quizás los módulos también, los primeros, es un poquito más fácil, ¿va? ahorita ya se está complicando más la cosa también, va. Sí, quiero más dedicación. Sí, cabalca, tener más ejemplos, no sé, un poquito más de práctica. Práctico. Ajá. Pero sí ha ayudado porque, imagínense, ahorita estoy viendo un, una cosa que se llama IP High, High Receiver Pro. Es una cosa de alarma, de monitoreo y todo eso. Ajá. Ajá, un programa. Igual en inglés, va. Me acuerdo que eso lo leí antes de empezar el curso. En la luna puro traductor y me costaba y antier lo, lo volví a ver otra vez porque hay que hacer y ya más, más libre va ya palabritas ahí el traductor pero ya así ta, 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 ta. ya más no, hombre, siento bonito no que sí <risa> sí sí cabal no si sí, te sí, es, 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 es el premio <risa> sí primero dios hay que echarle ganas la verdad sí Darle. Si no, vamos a dar la clase Podemos. nosotros ahora. Bueno, pues. Hello, students. Good evening. <risa> Cabal, ya, ya practicando. <risa> ya nos va a regañar ahí la pitch. Ya nos va a regañar. Eh. Está invadiendo. <risa> y después está el oyente, usted va, dijo. <risa> ¿Quién? Usted. No, alguien más dijo que iba no, a estar de no. oyente. Mm, ah, no, yo leí el... Es que usted pone que está en temporada alta, pero no sé... Antier, creo, no sé cuándo fue ese mensaje que leí. Sí, el... el, el eh, eh, prácticamente... Mi, mi viernes. Bueno, de ahí que me actualizó la máquina el jueves. Y se volvió que... no Ajá, se reinició. Ajá. Cierre de mes, 721. Hi, Javier. ¿Escucha bien? ¿No lo podía escuchar? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Yes, Welcome. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you. You sound like a YouTuber. Welcome back. Hi there. How are uh, you? How are you doing? Very nice. Uh, excellent, excellent. Work hard. Working Talking hard. about. Excellent. Talking about Talking what? Talking about our progress. Uh, the, our learning. English learning. Oh, nice. Very good. Our progress. Progress. Okay, very good. Do you feel that you're progressing on your classes? If not, <clears> tell me. If you don't, you say, no, oh, the teacher doesn't practice English with us. So. <laughs> tell me, tell me, okay? Don't worry. Don't feel bad. 
Now, we're going to start here. Um, yesterday, right? Yesterday we started talking about the simple past, right? And we work with the past tense of the verb um, be, right? The past tense of the verb be. Now, I want you to look at this right now. Just give me, I'm gonna show you a picture, okay? Da, 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 da. Let me show you. Da, 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 da. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good Lord, this thing is just very slow today, which is not good for me, right? As a teacher, this is very slow. Just give me a second, okay? Saying that. Solicita permiso está de una vez en la otra, Bernardo López. Cuando caigo en esos mensajes, no piensen que soy malcriada porque no les contesto, ¿ok? Sino que, como ustedes ya sabrán, no les podemos contestar permisos, right? It's very, very difficult. So let me show you here something. I think, I think, I think, I think you can see the picture now. Can you see the picture? No? No, teacher. No. No, okay. I'm going to show you two things right now. Está lenta esta cosa, si pote, permítame. Me está haciendo quedar mal. Vamos, vamos, comparte, comparte, comparte. I'm gonna show you two pictures, right? Two pictures and you're going to tell me, right? What do you think about this? I think, I think, I think, I think you can see them now. My God. Can you see some cartoons? Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Very good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, Look at those pictures right there, right? Did you watch those cartoons when you were a kid? Did you watch any of them? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, okay, which one did you watch, Javier? Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, okay, but not the song, Scooby-Doo, Papa. Pa. No. Avatar. <laughs> Avatar, okay. Avatar. Ah, cat dog, cat dog. Cat dog, too. I like too. Like, I like. You like the cat dog, very good. And the avatar. Very funny. Okay, yeah, it was very funny, right? With a lot of crazy things, right? Very good. What else? What other cartoon did you watch? We have the Teenage Mutants, SpongeBob, that's like more like 2000s, right? We have the Flintstones, Yu-Gi-Oh! What about you, Carla? Did you did you ever watch one of these cartoons? Mm. Powerpuff oh. Gear. The Powerpuff Girls. Yes, very good. Nice. And you, Joanna? I um, watched um. 
the Flintstones. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. Okay. And, and in this case, when when did you watch these cartoons? On weekends, in the mornings. In the in the morning. In the mm -hmm. morning. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. And what about you, Adalberto? Did you watch any of these cartoons? I watched the, the Flintstones. The Flintstones. Oh, I love the Flintstones. I, when they yell, Belma. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Now, I'm going to show you another picture right now because we're, I want you to talk about your experiences, you know? So I want to show you this picture, right? Now, when we were kids, when we were kids, all of us, we, we were kids, right? So when we were kids, we used to have parties in our houses or in our neighbors or friends' parties. What did you do in those parties? In my case, I didn't, I didn't like the piñatas because I'm like, oh no, you're gonna hit me with the piñata, right? Or with the bat, or with the stick. But what I used to do in the past is that I ate a lot of sandwiches, right? A lot of sandwiches and horchata. And you, what did you do? What was your favorite part when you were in the, in a piñata, in a kid's party? What was your favorite part? Or what did you do? What were the activities that you did? Janita? Is a, uh, uh, how do you say preparar? Prepare. Prepare is a sandwich. Um, uh, is servir. Uh, so you, you prepare the sandwiches? Yes. So uh, what about when you, when you were a kid? Not the mom, but you were a kid. What did um, you do? Uh -huh. How do you say reventar piñata? Okay, you break the piñatas. Okay. Very good. Break. Recoger uh dulce. -huh. Ah, and pick up candies. I love picking up candies now. Okay, excellent, Janina. Thank you. What about you, Jose? Alexander? What do you what did you do in the parties? Eat cake. Ah, eat cake. Yes. Ooh. What was what, what is your favorite cake? Chocolate flake. Chocolate cake. Oof, delicious. Right. Lava chocolate. Okay. Very good. Very good. And you, let's see. Uh Carla. Thank you. Eugenia? Excuse me, teacher. <laughs> uh, I like drink horchata. Okay. And it's sandwich. Sandwiches too, oof, delicious, right? There's nothing better than sandwiches. The and chicken. And chicken. <gasps> In a party, oof. That was... The chicken, the chicken con... I, how do you say? Revuelto con repollo. Okay. Chicken, and we are going to say, oh yeah, I forgot, how do you say chicken in English? Oh no, chicken, how do you say repollo in English? Uh, cabbage, cabbage, C-A-B-B-A, C-B, C-A-B-B-A-G-E. Don't laugh at me, Alexander. <laughs> I forgot the word cabbage today, cabbage, repollo. Cabbage, no red chicken, Alexander. Ya ven que le estaba leyendo la mente. Okay. Okay. So, this is what we're, what we're doing right now. We're talking about our experiences, right? Everything that we did in the past, it stays there in the past, right? So, we use the simple past to express our memories our experiences, our past events. So that's what we're going to do today. Yesterday we talked about 
a person, right, Mr. Dawson. Mr. Dawson was there with us and we talked about some, uh, some things that he did. And we just listen, right? We just listen to a, a small article called Never Too Late, Never Too Late to Learn. So today I would like you to look at again the article, right? Before we start, look at again the article and tell me what are the simple past examples that we can see there, that we can see here in besides the past with B, right? Which is was and where, right? What are the examples that we can see? Can you see right now the article for Mr. Dawson? Can you see it on your screen? Yes or no? Yes, please. Yes, yes. yes. okay, very well then. Now we're going to start here, right? Would you like to listen again so we can remember pronunciation? Shall we listen again? So we check pronunciation because I will ask some of you to read some of the paragraphs. So I think it's going to be better to listen. Let's go ahead and play this. Never too late. Did you listen to that? No? No, miss. No, okay. Give me, a, give me a sec. Just making sure that you can see this. Da -da -da -da, dun -da 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 -da. To learn. George Doss. You listen to that now? Yes, miss. Okay, yes, perfect. Sir. Now we're gonna read never too late to learn. Right? That's about George Dawson. I want you to pay attention to the simple past. And then I will ask you just a couple of questions, okay? Now, let's listen. Never too late to learn. George Dawson was a successful man. Was he famous? No, he wasn't. He was just an ordinary man who did something extraordinary. George Dawson lived in three centuries, from 1898 to 2001. He was born in Texas, the grandson of slaves. At that time, there were fewer opportunities for African Americans. Dawson was the oldest of five children. His family was very poor, so George had to work to help his family. He started working for his father when he was only four years old. As a result, he didn't have a chance to get an education. He didn't learn to read and write. He signed his name with an X. When Dawson was 98 years old, he decided to go to school. He wanted to learn to read and write. He went to adult literacy classes. The teacher asked him, do you know the alphabet? When he answered no, his teacher was surprised. Over the next few years, his teacher taught Dawson to read and write. Dawson said, every morning I get up and I wonder what I might learn that day. Richard Globman read an article about Dawson in the newspaper and wanted to meet him. Globman helped Dawson write a book about Dawson's life called Life is So Good. Dawson was 102 when the book was published. Dawson wrote about what makes a person happy. He learned from his father to see the good things in life. They had a close family, and George never felt lonely. Dawson says in the book, people worry too much. Life is good, just the way it is. Was George Dawson a success? He definitely was. He enjoyed life and accomplished his goal, learning to read and write. Okay, now. We just read about George Dawson, right? I will have some of you to read small paragraphs right here, okay? Just let me go ahead and delete this. Right now, I want you to please help me, right, with this other part of the reading, right? Amen. 
please help me with this photograph right here. Like this photograph, Javier, go. I want you to please read this photograph. <clears throat> okay. George Delson lived in three centuries from 1898 to, uh, to 2021, he was born in Texas. The grands, grandson of slave at that time, there were fewer opportunities for African Americans. Delson was the oldest of five children. His family was very poor. So George, George had to work to help his family. He started working for his father when he was only four years old. As a result, he didn't, didn't have a chance to get an education. He didn't learn to read and write. He signed, he signed his name with an X. With an X. Okay, excellent, Javier. Very good job. Now we're just gonna repeat some words that I consider are difficult for everyone. Right? Just let me check them out right now. Just give me a moment. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're gonna check this, right? Now, slaves. 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 At that time. At that time. At that, that time. time. Yes, at, at that time. time. Started. Started. There you are. Thank you so much, Javier. Those are difficult words, okay? Very good. Very good, thank you. Right now, let's continue with Miss. Let's see, see, see. Okay, Janita, help me out, please, with this a small paragraph. Right. Okay, teacher. What well, was eight, 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 eight years old? He decided to go to a school. He wanted uh, to learn to read and write. He went to adult um, leaders class. Uh, the teacher asked hi. Do you know the alphabet when he asked or no? The teacher was sur surprised uh, over the next years. His teacher taught Dawson uh, to read and write. Dawson say. Very good. Thank you so much. So we're going to put there some words, right? And I forgot this number. I forgot this number. This is very important. 1898. 1898. We divide it. 1898. 98. Repeat, Miss Janina. 98. 98. Good. Decided. 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 Good. Literacy. 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 That's very good. We forget about the T, right? We just say literacy, literacy. right? Literacy classes. Okay. Went to adult literacy classes. Literacy classes are when we learn how to how to write. That right? Very good. Thank you so much, Janita. Who wants to read the last paragraph? I need one volunteer. One person. One volunteer. Any volunteers? No, nobody. Oh. Me, teacher. Okay, Joanna, and then you help me out with the first one again, Jose, okay? So you start with Richard Globman, Joanna. 
Okay, Richard Goldman read an article about Dawson in the newspaper and wanted to meet in. Goldman helped Dawson write a book about Dawson life. Color life is so good. Um, Dawson was 102 when the book was published. Dawson wrote about what makes a person happy. He learned from his father to see the good things in life. They had a close family and George never felt lonely. Dobson says in the book, people worry too much. People worry too much. Life is good just the way it is. Very good. Thank you, Anna. We're just gonna work with three words right now. First one, everyone, listen. Publish. 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 Publish, exactly. Publish. Publish. Okay. Learned. 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 Much. 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 Very okay. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And we go with the last one, Jose. Go. Okay. George Dawson lived in three centuries from 1898 to 2001. He was born in Texas, the grandson of at that time, there were fewer opportunities for, for African Americans. Dawson was the oldest of five children. His family was very poor, so George had to work to help his family. He started working for his father when he was only four years old. As a result, he didn't have a chance to get an education. He didn't learn to read and write. He signed his name with an X. Hey, very good. He signed. Sign. Repeat. Signed. 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 Very good. Thank you. Okay, so we have practice here. Thank you so much, everyone. You did amazing. So what can you tell me about Dawson? Can you write right now? I need you to think about the whole information about Dawson, okay? Now, write one thing that you remember about his life that we saw here in the article. Write it in the chat, please. In the meantime, I'm just gonna take this thing and I'm gonna put it in another room. Just give me a moment. You have one minute to write one thing that you remember. Do it. He lived for two centuries from 1898 to 2001. Dawson is an, uh, he, Dawson is an old child of four children. Very good, Emerson. Dawson is the oldest, or was the oldest in the past. Dawson was the oldest of four children can you mind that i am i am the oldest of three children my mom was crazy he signed his next his name with an x very good sign he learned to read and write at at 90 years old very good pablo very good information who else i only have a few examples uh-huh, Dawson was 98 years old. His family was very poor. Excellent, Janina, that was excellent. Carla, Tatiana, Sara, Imelda, Noé, Wendy, Manuel, Carol, 
What can you tell me about Dawson? Tell me about Dawson. I want to know about Dawson. Tell me more, tell me more. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. I was watching that movie before. It's very good for you for you to practice singing and pronunciation. So that's why when the book was oh yeah. That one was 102 when the book was published. Yes, that is right, Carlos Vladimir. Very good examples, okay? I'm waiting for some of you. You have, I will give you two more minutes to write your examples so we can move to the next activity. And so I can start teaching you. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, da. Wait, I have too many things on my computer right now. Just give me a moment. <laughs> Okay, now let me see the other examples. For new messages, he lived for two centuries. Doesn't have good chances. Did doesn't have good chances? Kind mm, of not. Dawson was very happy though. Was born in nineteen in eighteen ninety eight. You don't have to write year. You can just say in eighteen ninety eight. I wanted to learn to read and write. He, Janira, he, Dawson. Dawson wanted to learn to read and write, not you, right? He enjoyed your life, no. He enjoyed his life, not mine. If you say, teacher, he enjoyed your life. Like, My life, why? My life is mine, not his, right? He enjoyed his life. And the last one, he, he lived for two centers. Okay. Now, we have that information about Dawson. Now, we are going to learn right now about the simple past tense, right? With the simple past tense, is pretty much something simple, okay? I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to, oh, my God, this is so difficult. No. The simple past, when do we use simple past? Yesterday we mentioned when to use simple past. When do we use it? No idea? For, for, when, for remember experience. To remember experience? Or, very good. Passing to describe experiences. Excellent, yes, sir. To describe experiences. That's when we use the simple past. Very good. When else? What else can we say about the simple past? Yesterday. Uh-huh, what happened to yesterday? Um, I, I yesterday, uh, no, I cooking yesterday. I cooked yesterday. Okay, yes, we do have words, right? You're totally right. We do have words that are very important when we're talking about the past. Those words are, right, the time expressions. Very good, very good. Now, we're gonna work, go ahead and work right now. I need you to pay attention. Yes? yes. And even, um, even conclude, Concluir. Finish. Eh, 
Uh -huh, an event finish. Uh -huh. uh, an, a finish event. Very good. A finish, okay. a finish event. A finish event. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you right now how we create a simple past. Okay. So, first, focus. Pay attention. Right. I will be like stopping so you can ask questions. Right. Don't write anything. I will send you the information. Okay. So let's start right now. So. Yesterday, we worked with the simple pass with the verb to be. Today, we're going to work with the simple pass, other verbs, right? Other verbs. That's going to be our topic for today. So what do we mean with other verbs? Now, with the simple pass, the structure is going to be the same, okay? It's going to be the same. So I have here my structure. We have subject plus verb in past plus complement. Now, this is my structure for a sentence, right? That we're going to write in past. Subject plus verb in past plus complement. Very good. Now, what happens here in the simple past is that we need to put here exactly our verbs in past, right? For example, we can say, um, Sophie, Sophie, past tense of go is went, Sophie went to the party. Sophie went to the party. And we have here, right, our subject, verb, and our complement. Sophie went to the party. Then we can also have a verb. This is an example of an irregular verb. We can have Sophie learned a new language. Sophie learned a new language. We have again our verb, in past, learned, and our complement. The subject is going to be the same. Now, in this case, the subject does not affect the verb, okay? What we're going to work with right now is something that we call, when we have other verbs, right here that says, other verbs, we're gonna have one verb and another verb. Play. This, yes, Adela? Play. Okay, yeah, that's one verb, thank you. Now we're gonna have here regular and irregular verbs, right? Regular verbs. Regular verb is a uh, player. For example, yes, thank you, right? We have these two, right? Thank you, Tatiana. We have regular verbs and irregular verbs in past. So what happens to the regular verbs and irregulars? This one, for example, right? Went is a regular verb. It is an irregular verb. Learned is a regular verb. Now, for me, in my case, I think that regular verbs are more difficult than irregulars because the irregulars you just need to learn them right as simple as that right now i am going to show you right now a picture right i'm going to show you a picture where you can see the rules for the regular verse right so can you look at the computer right now where it's a simple past tense yes yes yeah, okay perfect 
Now, in this picture, we can see that we have a verb and we can see the changes. So I'm gonna put it here, right? For example, we have the verb walk, right? So if we have- Teacher, I can, I can, I can to look display, display, display. Sorry? I can, I cannot look the display. No ven la imagen. No. No. Usted no. Todos los demás sí. Ah, dígame porque no entiendo. Solo veo. Que... Okay. Yes, teacher. Simple okay. past tense regular verb. Okay. Thank you, Eugenia. Salga hace rapidito. Lo vamos a esperar. Salga y vuelve a entrar. Ya vino. Pures hijo. Talento va. Viendo que lo tenemos dos horas y está. Tomen café, sí, puto. Tomen café. ¿Ya habrá venido? No, mire. Anda paseando todavía. Voy a tomar café primero. Ok. Look at the table. Look at the table. Because I will explain to you how we how we make this work. It's, it's actually very easy. With the rules, something that you need to remember is that you need to memorize. El profesor que les diga que no se van a memorizar los verbos, no le está diciendo la verdad. Tienen que recordarse los verbos. Que les diga, ah, sí, se converte. No, you have to memorize the verbs. Right? That's a, a, a big important part of learning English. What about now, Lu Javier? Can you see the screen? Yes, sure. Okay, very well. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, we're going to do right now, right? If we see here, the majority of the verse, right? They are going, we are going to add ED to most of the verse in English. We add ED, right? So we said, walked, play, learned, et cetera, et cetera, right? But there are some verbs that end in E, we are not going to add E, D. So it will be something like, for example, this verb is like, right? Like kid, no, right? So we just add D, like. But because ends in E. So we just leave it like that, right? Now, we also have some other verbs that they end in a consonant plus Y, right? So what we do is to eliminate the Y and we add IED. For example, here we have carry and study. So I want you to look at my computer. Pongan atención, no estén escribiendo, no estén haciendo nada. Eso después se los mando. Right? Don't worry about that. Now, we have, for example, the verb cry. Cry. With cry, right, we have it here. This verb belongs here, right? Cry. Consonant plus Y. Cry. So, what are we going to do? Simple. We just delete the Y. <gasps> Teacher, but then now it says her, cry. What we're going to do now is that instead of a Y, right, because we have cry, right, then we have only her, right? Now we're going to add I, and then we're going to add ED, cry. So this, is the example that we have here, right? Carry, carry it. Study, study. Cry, cry, right? But it must be a consonant plus a Y. Consonant and Y, okay? Not vowel, because when sometimes we have this, we have play. Oh, but here we cannot say play it. No, big no, no. Mm -mm. What we're gonna do, because it's a vowel plus Y, right? It's a vowel plus Y. 
we only add it. That's it. Play. Teacher, pero termina en Y. Yes. That's right. But this is what matters here. The consonant and the vowel. Is that clear? Do we understand that part? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Now, yes. I'm going to delete this. Right. Now, we also have here some verbs that end in one consonant. Right? So, these ones, when we have here, usually it's like one or two syllable sounds. So, you say plan, stop, right? Stop. So, plan, we just double the, the last consonant, right? So, we have a single consonant, and the second last letter is a vowel. Plan, vowel, stop. Vowel, but it's just one consonant. Plan, listen, plan, stop, cut. So we just swim. What we're going to do there is that we're going to double the N or double the P and add ED so we can make our example, right? Now, let me show you here some examples from our book. <coughs> Sorry, give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to show you right now one box with some verbs, okay? Based on following these rules, right? We are going to follow these rules right now. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. My goodness, I hate this. Okay, now let me show you. Can you see my computer? Yes, okay, yes. very good. All of the verse that you see here, right? All of this verse, they are regular verse. Okay, all of them are regular. None of them is irregular. All of them are regular. So we need to add the rule of ED, right, at the end. So what are we gonna do? We're going to follow here the picture that I sent you before. Right. Oh, did I send you the picture? No, right? Let me see. I'm gonna put the picture here. Can you take a screenshot? Uh, who took the screenshot yesterday? I think it was Vladimir. Vladimir, can you take the screenshot of this picture? Please? Yes, al chat lo mando. Yes, please. Thank you so much, you got it, right? So now that we got it here, we're going to move to the book, right? Now in the book, we have here the, the verse and following the rules that Vladimir just sent, right? Simple past tense. What is going to be the rule for fail? How, how are we going to write that? What would be the best option to write? And I write here, fail. Hey. Is that correct? No. No? It's not correct? No. Are you sure? Huh? Are yes. you sure? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I need you to look at the Fire. rules. Fire. Look at the rules. What is the best option? Here, this verb is for rule number one, base form plus ed, right? That's all we need. We just need to put ed, 
So this fail is correct. How would you do the others? How would you do the other options, the other verbs? What I want you to do right now is to try to do this individually, right? Individually, you will have five minutes to put all of these verbs in the past tense, right? Five minutes only. Do you finish? Did you finish? Not yet. Look at the picture, right? So you can try to do this. Finish this, Sarah. Very good, Sarah. Excellent job.
finish this cattle. Very good. Finish this. Finish, finish, done. Okay, we're gonna check one more. Just give me a moment. Okay. Now, we're gonna check here. I am going to write the correct form of the verbs, okay? Now, once I finish this, I need you to check. Check your answers, please. So you can check if they are correct or not. Now, we're gonna start here. I have landed. Listen to the pronunciation too. Landed. Died. Died. Asked. Asked, attended, 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 occur, 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 lived, wanted, 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 wanted. Rescue, decided, decided, attempted, attempt, attempted, helped, helped, discovered, discovered, learned. Learned, started, try, try, try. Now we have here our verbs, right? We have the past tense of each one of them, right? Now I want you to look at them right now, okay? Do you have the same? Do you have the same answers? Hello? Yes. Yes? Everything is perfect? Yes. Okay. Yes. Miss. Yes? Uh, I have a question. Go ahead. In uh, <laughs> a court, uh, no iría la rule for occur. I think it's with double R, right? Occur. Let me check my dictionary. Occur. Yeah, occur here. Very good. Thank you. Occur. Double R. Thank you so much, Carla. Carla, right? Okay. Who else? Occur. Now, we need to check pronunciation. The past tense of regular verse, with the ED, we are not going to say failed, landed, died, asked, attended, occurred, no. Each one of the verse has a different pronunciation, okay? So we need to be very careful with that because the pronunciation for each of the verse is different. Silvia, ah, no, aparte de la regla de la pronunciación, yes, right? Besides the rule, the pronunciation. Now, this is important because pronunciation in English matters. If you don't pronounce something correctly, it's going to be really bad, right? Intonation, accent, the intonation is important. Accent, ah, we all have accents, right? Todos tenemos acento, eso no hay problema. Pero pronunciación, yes, that's very important. Now, I am going to pronounce these words so you can practice. Remember, this is recording. 
right? So you can practice tomorrow. We have here, right, the pronunciation. Please pay attention so we can practice. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, look at the screen. Please practice with your microphone off. Apaga su micrófono, pero necesito que practiquen, okay? Now, eh, you're going to help me right now. Please, you're going to repeat after me, Vladimir. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so we have play. Oh, right. lo, 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 le voy a quitar porque está el perrito ladrando ok, vamos a ver yes. porque este es muy importante thank you let's see, Eugenia do you have noise in the background? ok, yes, okay perfect thank you Vladimir, sorry now we're going to have here fail fail landed landed died died Asked. At. Attended. Attended. Occurred. 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 Lived. Lived. Wanted. 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 Rescued. Rescued. Decided. Decided. Attempted. Attempted. Helped. 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 Helps. Discovered. Discovered. Learned. Learned. Started. Started. Tried. Tried. Thank you, Carla. Now, did you guys copy this, this verse? Yes? Okay, very yes. good. Thank you guys. So let me go ahead and put it here. Just one moment. I'm gonna stop sharing. Now, with those verses that we have, we're gonna start, as you see, all of the verses are different, right? Like I said to you before, all of them are, right? And now we're going to put here the pronunciation, right? the pronunciation. Now with the pronunciation, this is something very simple, right? And it's going to work not only with the pronunciation of past tense, but also with words that end with D or ED. Now let me show you here. Okay, I think you can watch it. Now, I need you to be right now. I need you to practice with me once I tell you to do so. Segura verse, please. De los que se aprendan esos dos que están ahí arriba primero. Okay? Primero aprendan esos dos. Después vamos aprendiendo poco a poco. No traten de llenar su mentecita con un, una lista de 100 verbos. Se aprenden 5 hoy, 5 mañana, 6 pasado, y así van. ¿Ok? Si no se van a hacer locos. Se van a frustrar y ya no van a venir a clase. Now, we have this. A pronunciation. Let's check our pronunciation, right? With the pronunciation that we're going to have, we have three important sounds that we need to make when we're talking in the simple past, right? Now, with the simple past, all of the verbs, they are different when they are in the base form. I say want, right? Need, help, call, clean, etc. But when we have ed at the end, the pronunciation changes. And the problem with pronunciation pretty much comes at the end of each of the words, right? So my pronunciation is going to be based on this. These are the sounds that you 
need to pay attention to. Okay? Those are the sounds that we need. I need I need this sound, this sound, and this sound. They are not the same. They are different. Okay? Now, with this, look at me, please. Right? With this, what you're going to do is that you're going to add an extra syllable. Right? If you have this, and then you have your verse ending with this, so the T and the D, right? Then you say one tid, it is, right? You add one extra syllable to your pronunciation. You're not going to say one, one, z, z, z. no, you're going to say one tid. This means an extra syllable. This means an extra syllable. This is at the end of the base form that we have this letter, right? Now, with this sound, right? With this sound, all of the verbs that in the base form, they end with these consonants, we are going to add this sound. This sound is very easy because we just say t, t, t. That's it. Say helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, washed, watch, kissed. Listen, it's not the same as say kiss, kissed. You listen to the difference there? Kiss, simple present, kiss. Kissed. I kissed my husband before the class. I kissed in past tense, right? Now, when we have the verse ending in these letters, L, N, R, G, B, etc., we have call, clean, offer, damage, loved, use, amaze, right? What we're going to do is that we are going to put Look at me, please. The tip of the tongue, the tip of the tongue, you're going to put it here, right? Call, call, clean, offered, damaged, loved. The sound is a little bit stronger, right? But only the tip of the tongue. So la puntita la lengua no está así ahogándose. No. The. The. That's the sound that you need to make. Ed. T. The. Okay? Now, what is something that is very, very easy to use? Right? These are voice sounds. Voiced and voice. This is voiceless, right? Teacher, y eso que es. Yo ni voy a dar clase para me está enseñando eso, right? Very simple. Quiero saber si estoy pronunciando bien. I want to know if I'm pronouncing correctly. We're just going to pay attention right now. If you have this sound or this sound, you're going to put two fingers here, right? When we make a vibration, on our throat, so I will say wanted, needed. Do you feel like a vibration? Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged. If you do not feel a vibration, then pronunciation is bad. If you feel a vibration, then pronunciation is super good. Amazed, claimed. Only with these sounds and these sounds. But if you have voiceless sounds, all of these words, the only thing that you're going to do, right, is that see if air comes out of your mouth. So I will say, helped, looked, sniffed, laughed, no saliva, 
aire, right? Air, washed, what, kissed, danced. If you feel air, then good. If you don't feel air, then you're pronouncing incorrectly. Now, do you understand this pronunciation? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, miss. Okay, very good. So let me see, want to need help, look, sniff, flash. Okay, all of these are verse, right? So you can practice with them too. Todos son verbos, okay? Todos, todos, todos son verbos. Now, what are we going to do in this moment, right? Please take this, this picture, right? It's very important that you have it for you, right? It's very, very important you have it. And now we are going to work together. ¿Le tienen esto? Yes, no? No, teacher, one moment. Please. Okay. Ready. Okay, perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do here, right, is that we are going to go back, right? We work with pronunciation and we work with the rule of the verse, right? So now we know that we're regular verse. Right, with regular verbs, right? Pay attention to pronunciation. And we pay attention to ending in pass. We're gonna put here E, D, and D, right? That's what we need to pay attention to with the regular verbs. So what happens with the irregular verbs? With the irregular verse, it's easier. Why? Because we just need to practice them. There is a list of verbs that we can use, right? Usually with the irregular verse, I will show you a list just for fun. With the irregular verse, we do not use ED, okay? Remember that. If it's irregular, we do not use ED. But, but we are going to practice here. Just give me a moment. Okay. My goodness. This is getting bigger. Okay, now we have here some verbs that we can use for the simple past, right? So we have many changes. Specifically, when we are using irregular verbs, we need to remember, we need to memorize the spelling. So we have verbs that they don't change. Now we say beat, beat, bed, bed, cause, cause, cut, cut, same, all the time, right? But we have some verbs that they change, like span, spent, send, sent, right? Vowel changes, right? Verbs that all of the, they change completely, right? Like the verb be is irregular, right? The verb go, irregular, it changed completely, right? Make, may, do, did, etc., etc. Right. So the only thing that you have to do here is to practice with the verbs. Right? Practice with the irregulars. Now, what are we gonna do? Here 
I'm gonna put irregulars. Irregular verb. <clears throat> change in spelling or no change is made right that's that's it right that's what we need to remember about the regulars and irregulars now this is a sentence that we have here it's a positive sentence right subject verb complement and we're going to practice right now with affirmatives, only with affirmatives. So I want you to please look at my book, right? Look at my book. And we are going to practice with one exercise. Okay, I will send this to your WhatsApp so we can practice. We're going to do this exercise in pairs. I will send it to you in a moment. Give me a moment. One second. <laughs> Thank you, Vladimir, for sending all those pictures. I appreciate it. Okay, right now I'm sending a picture for the first exercise that we're gonna do today. Right. That's, that's, that's the first part. Did you receive it? Do you get it? Do you get the picture? Yes, teacher. Yes, perfect. I'm gonna send you the next one. There are two pictures for the same exercise. Now we're using right now the verse that we practiced before. We already know the past tense, right? That's good because we already know the past tense. But six, seven, eight, nine from 10 to 14. What we're going to do is to put the verse in the correct place. That's it. That's all I need, right? That you put the verse in the correct spot. So let me send it to you. Okay, there you are. Right now. Do you understand what you're going to do? You're going to do this in group because mm, it's a little bit difficult. So we're gonna do it in groups. Now, before we do that, before we do that, I just need to make sure. Eh, todos estamos eh, trabajando ahora, no tengo a ningún oyente. Hola, hola, señores que nunca encienden la cámara. Manuel, Elena, Oscar, Wendy, Tatiana, Sara, Imelda. Sí, estoy participando, Miss Tatiana. Ok, very good. Wendy. Participando. participando. Sara, y Imelda. Participando. Ok, Oscar, Elena. Participando. Okay. Oscar. Yes, teacher, ready. Ok, Manuel. Manuel. Okay. I think we're gonna make groups of five. Manuel doesn't answer, so let's see. Okay. No se desconecten en plena creación de grupos. Okay, let's go. We're gonna work in this activity. Let's get to work, please. Let's put everything in pass. I leave it a Vladimir se mira más bonita la suya.
Ahí se mira mejor su picture. Vamos, Joana, Javier, Sara, Imelda, Manuel, Pablo, please join the class. Do you have any questions, guys, about this activity? No. Okay, see you in a moment. Hello, number two. Sería side. Si vio trabajar. Mm, ¿Sí? Yo eso pienso, pero no, no sé si hay otro verbo. He decided to work when he was four years old. He started, started, inició. Sure. Started, started. Ted. Inició. Se empezó a trabajar. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, many chains. In his long life. Soon. Sería During his long life Merchant His teacher him uh, the teacher asked ask last asked ask 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 he decide, he decide, you know, no. the school. Sí, decide, decide. Decide. Uh -huh. Decide. 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 Richard Bowman Dawson Wright. Richard Help. Le ayudó. Ajá, help. Help. Number three. No sería discover. Discovery. ¿Sí? Ok. Veo. Number three. Yes. 
Discover. Discover. Eh, six. Help. Six help. 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 Salome. Salome Andre. Is another. Is You know that? Ah, uh, can I? Number seven, be a try. Seven, try. Uh, try, yo digo. Ah. Tento, explorar. Explorar el polo norte. Try. 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 Many people. Rich. No, uh, uh, many people try to reach uh, the North Pole by land, but they weren't successful. Muchas personas intentaron escalar o alcanzar la, el Polo Norte por tierra, esa, pero ellos no tuvieron éxito. Okay. Ya estamos en duda. No será Dice, murió, explorando el pueblo norte. La nombre se ve. Dice. Ah, sí. André and his man. Perdón, dijo, dijo algo. Died. Miss, este, todos los verbos que están ahí vamos a utilizar. Que no escucho. <laughs> <Mom, yes. laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, according to this, you're going to use a simple past form of with one of the words in the box, right? In some cases, you can use more than one verb. So sometimes you might use one or two verbs. It's like when we say, for example, speak, and we use talk. Mm -hmm. I speak with my mother. I talk with my mother. So you can use them like a synonym. Okay. Ah, pues creería yo que la, la de la once es calza menos ahí. Aquí. Uh -huh. Ajá, ¿verdad? Cuando intentó. Pues... Se murió. <risa> Me queda bien esto. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Um. To use a balloon. Help. Andre. Help, help. Push up. 
Bye, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let's say try. Try. Oh, sorry. Try. Try. And the Andre try. Try again. Try to use. Let's say try anyway. Hello. Hola, día vamos. Sí, pero nos falta la dos y la seis. <laughs> la far far from the north pole, the value. Balo. Nadie se me perdió, pero. Uh -huh. Ah, pues pasamos a la O Andrea. André así. No, la diez sí me, me perdí. Por eso, ajá, por eso me pasé a la otra porque dejémosla para ver. Ah, ok. Andrea, sí, Andre en his men. A ver, no lo es. También. Ops, la última. André. André para usar un globo, algo así. Usa. Utilizó, ¿verdad? André. Andrés. Ay. Es. Usó, Andrés. Usó una, un, un globo. Ajá. Usó un globo. Wait, wait, Ahí sería que decidió. Decide. Decide. Ajá, decidió. Ah. Isai, uh -huh. uh, de sí, el, uh -huh. el, el, el globo, el entonces. Va, faltan las últimas seis. Ajá, uh -huh. que nos dé más tiempo. Ahí está la teacher, nos está escuchando, uh -huh. si nos da más no, tiempo. <risa> más rápido nos mandó a llamar. The time is gone. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. No más tiempo. Let me ask the others, okay? To see because some of them were in number 10 already. So let's see, let's see. Let's go, let's go. Vámonos para allá.
Yo sola estoy hablando. Ok. <laughs> Some of the groups uh, uh, requested more time. Did you finish with the exercise? Right, or do you need more time to finish? We finished, miss. You finished. Emerson's group is finished. I think Joanna's group too, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, right? Okay, so we're gonna stay with the with the ones that we have, but we're going to start with Carla, Janira, and Wendy. They are going to help us with the first questions, okay? And then we move with the others so they can participate. Just give me a moment here. One second. Okay. Now I am going to show you right now my screen again. Right. Please tell me if you can see it. Can you see it there? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. I think you can see me also. Now, we're going to start here, right? We know that the first one, right, that we were going to use is was, right? George Dawson was poor. Oh, no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. This is the one that we did yesterday. One moment, we're gonna go next. Here we are. Okay, there we are, right? So this is the uh, the one that we're gonna use, right? The first one we already have it, right? On our on our example, right? We can see that that is lift, right? Lift. Dawson lived from 1898 to 2001, right? Now, what do you have for number two, Eugenia? What word did you choose? How did it started, started. Started, okay, very good. It started, thank you. Uh, Yesenia, what do you have in number three? Many changes. Oh, by the way, Carla, can you read the whole sentence, please? He started to work when he was four years old. Four years old, very good. Continue, uh, Janira. Many changes. Okay, it's uh, many changes uh, occurred during his long life okay many changes changes repeat changes occur occur during his long life when it's all life very good wendy number four four is his teacher teacher asked him do you know the alphabet Ask him, do you know the alphabet? Yes, very good. Alexander, before you fall asleep, number five. Um, uh -huh. He attempt. He attempt. The school. Attempt, attempted or attended? Attended. Attended. That would be this. This. Where is attended? He attended. I just saw it. Okay. He attended a school when he was 98. Repeat, please. He attended school when he was 98. Wonderful. Number six, Vladimir. 
excuse me, what is the number? Six. Six. Aha, you're not paying attention, my dear friend. The battery, okay. The six is rich and global help, help thousand write a book. Help thousand write a book, good. Number seven, Noe. Solomon, Andre, eh. Hello? No, eh. No, I cannot hear you. Hello. Hello. Sorry, teacher. Salomon Andre died to explore the North Pole. Die. Yes. Okay. The North Pole. Repeat North Pole. North Pole. Very well. Now continue, please, with the next one, number eight, Emerson. Number eight, attempted. Okay, read the complete sentence. Many people attempted to reach the North Pole by land, but they weren't successful. They weren't successful, good. Thank you, Bernardo, number nine. Uh, Andre learned to use the balloon, to use a balloon. Use a balloon. Okay, good. Javier, 10. Oh, you don't have it, right? I remember. Don't worry. Don't worry, Javier. You're going to do number 11, okay? Joanna, number 10. Yeah, the balloon landed far from the North Pole. Uh -huh. Landed far from the North Pole. 11, Javier? Huh? And Andre and his men died. Died. Okay. They died. Died. Repeat. Died. Died. Very died. Right. Not a good verb, but good. A Carol, number twelve. In nineteen fourteen. Uh. No, no, terminamos esos últimos. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, let's see, Elena, number 12. No, no lo tengo tampoco. You don't have it. Okay. No. Adalberto. Number 12. Sorry, teacher. I could not worry in the world. Because ah. the energy went out in the house. Ah, okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Sara, number 12. No trabajamos hasta ahí. <gasps> Santo Padre Celestial. Okay. What about you, Manuel? Campeón? Tampoco, teacher. No llegamos hasta ahí. Ah, sí, botones. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I think, I think, who has answer for number 12? Varios me dieron que habían terminado, me dieron, me mintieron. Mientan. Uh -huh. Who has number 12? Uh, me, teacher. Okay, Bernardo, go. In 1914, Ernest Shackleton died when he tried to cross Antarctica. Very good. 1914. Repeat. 1914. In 1914, Arnold Shackleton died when he tried to cross. Repeat. In 1914. In 1914, Ernest Shackleton died when he tried to cross. To cross Antarctica. Very good, Bernard. Thank you so much. Uh, Janira, number 13. Oh, no, you don't have it. You don't have it. Remember. Who has 13? He learned, uh -huh. he? he learned from his 
Okay. He learned from his failure. Repeat. Failure. He, listen. He learned. Listen. He learned from his failure. He learned from his failure. Very good. Thank you, Tatiana. 14. Who has 14? He, res he rescued his men. He rescued his men. Rescued. He rescued his men. Excellent, Tatiana. You're on fire. Uh, Alexander, 15. Robert Bass. <laughs> Robert Bayer discovered the Titanic on the ocean floor. The Titanic discovered the Titanic. Titanic. On, on the ocean floor. La Rose, La Jack. Okay, very good. Let's let it's it not <laughs> Let us hit this right here. We're going to check the answers. Right, we're going to work here. I'm going to put the lift. So we can check them all. Let's cross fingers. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Very good. The first four are fine. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Lived, started, occurred, asked. Attended, helped, attempted. Attended, helped, attempted. Now, what is the correct verb here? Mm -hmm. Let's check. Decided. Number seven, Solomon Andre decided to explore the North Pole. Solomon Andre decided to explore the North Pole. Write it down. Write it down. We continue. Oh, okay. Let's see. Number nine, Andre decided to use the balloon. He decided so he can go who could go up, 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 up. Right? And the last one is fail. In 1914, uh, number 12, sorry. Ernest Shackleton, right? Fail when he tried to cross. Well, if you fail, sometimes you die. <laughs> right? And he learned and he discovered. Very good job, guys. You have good examples with the verse. Very good. Questions about vocabulary, questions about uh, pronunciation. Do you have questions right now? Tell me. Questions? About the exercise? No? Shall we call attendance? Ok, pasamos asistencia mientras piensan en preguntarme. Ok. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Otelo. Present teacher. Alante <coughs> Enríquez. Present teacher. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, Miss. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present, teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present, teacher. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present, teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay, very good. We almost have everyone to, into this class. Now, we're going to continue here. Questions about the simple past right now. We have just worked with affirmatives, regular verse, practice, but we know what irregulars are too. 
right? So, what can what did you do yesterday? Tell me one activity that you did yesterday. For example, in my case, well, not yesterday. Um, yes, yesterday. Oh, I ate beans soup with rice yesterday. I ate beans soup with rice and cheese yesterday. And you, what did you do? Tell me. Bernardo, what did you do yesterday? Um, yesterday, I got out, got out late from my job. Oh, very bad. Okay, write it down. Bernardo got out late from his work yesterday. Right? Too bad, too bad. What about the others? Write it in the chat, Bernardo. What did you do yesterday? Let's think. Quickly. Mm -hmm. Nothing. No, nada. You didn't do anything, Carol. What did you do yesterday? I mm -hmm. I organized the uh, com competition yesterday with my children. Okay, very good. So look at what she did, right? She organized. Right? Organized. Yes, very good, right? She organized the competition of her students. Very good. Write it down. I organized my students' competition. Write it down. I organized. Organize. 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 I'm organize a competition with my students. Okay, write it. Type it in the chat. Very good. What about the others? Uh huh. No more examples. Only Bernardo and Caro. Write your examples I in watch, the chat. Uh huh. I I watch <gasps> movies on Netflix. Ooh, Just nice. All what day. Did, all day. Ah, oh, yes, yes, you will see. Yes, yes. It's true. <laughs> what did you watch? Uh, Me too. Piratas del Caribe. Pirates. Watch something new, Carlos Blade. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, nice. That's a Pirates nice one. What else did you watch? Number one, two, four. All of them, oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> okay, and you, Sarah, don't tell me you watch Trek all day because that would be crazy. All I watch ones. the series, the Netflix. Which one? Uh, Lose the Ultima Fila. The Last Line. What is yes. that one? Uh, is this group different? Um, and one person have cancer. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> too, too emotional for me. Too emotional. <laughs> okay. Very, emo <laughs> Very emotional. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Sara. Thank you, Vladimir, for sharing. Let's see. Javier says, I help a customer in order to learn a product information. Okay. I help a customer to learn a product function, to learn in order to know, to learn. I prepared sales reports yesterday. Very good, Janira. No comma, okay? I prepared sales reports yesterday. No comma, okay? No comma. I went to work. How exciting. <laughs> what did you do at work, Tatiana? What did you do at work yesterday? Tatiana? Hi, hi, Miss. What did you do at work yesterday? 
I call I call mm -hmm. uh, my client. Mm -hmm. Um, I I read. Uh, ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Cómo se dice re, eh, escribir en pasado? Right. Wrote. I wrote eh, a report. Uh, I, I, I pupusas, <laughs> I ate pupusas in no. my work. Nice, very good, Tatiana. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, when we when we don't know a word, thank you, Tatiana. Eso me trae lo siguiente. When you don't know a word, you're going to say, how do you say? How do you say computador in English, teacher? I don't know. How do you say? Okay. How do you okay. say? Very good. Eso no solo para Tatiana, para todos. Para todos, de este grupo. How do you say? How do you say macarrones in English? How do you say coffee? How, then one. How do you say car? Right? How do you say? Now we say, Pablo says, I went to the doctor with my daughter. Okay, I hope she's well today, Pablo. I hope your daughter is fine. I went to work. I went to the gym. I received my English classes and then I went to sleep. Wow, that's a complete paragraph. Very good, Tatiana. I organized a competition with my students and I went to the doctor with my son, Marlene. I hope your son is okay now. Now, we have examples there on the simple past. You see, to use the simple past is very, very easy, right? It's not difficult. The only thing meanings, organizing priorities, the problems as well. As okay, but where is the past tense? Where is the past tense? Let me see here. In meetings, organizing, but I need you to tell me in past. Subject, verb, complement, Carla Eugenia. Subject, verb, complement. There, I don't have a subject. I don't have a verb. Okay, I attended four meetings yesterday. Wow, four meetings. You know what? I hate meetings. Mm -mm. I only like the meetings with the students because we can talk, right? Now, we're going to continue working tomorrow with the simple pass. Tomorrow, and we're going to work with would like, would like, I would like, you would like, etc. We're gonna do two topics. But tomorrow we're going to work with the negative form of the past. Very easy. If you know the positive form, the negative is easier. Okay, and we're going to make questions and we're going to work on the exercises, of course, from the book, right? That's important too, that we practice the exercises from the book. Now, for tomorrow, I want you to do me a favor, right? And you are going to work with the following listening activities. This is, remember, this is for you to practice online. Están haciendo las actividades de listening. No las dejen de lado, por favor. No las dejen de lado. I want you to go ahead and go to pages on your book. Right, page 31, right, you have these listening activities. These are conversations on the phone. That's important that you practice the conversations on the phone. Teacher, pero yo no voy a trabajar un call center. No importa, right? No hay mejor forma de practicar que escuchando a alguien en el teléfono. ¿Por qué? Porque es difícil escuchar a alguien por teléfono. Right? Si ya nos cuesta en español, imagínense en inglés. Right? It's super difficult. Entonces, go there. Look at this. This is making a reservation. This is dealing with customers. Right? We also have another one here. Listen to a person asking and other giving information. And expand your vocabulary about cold flows. 
I need you to practice that vocabulary, right? Please practice the vocabulary because we're going to make conversations and I need you to have more vocabulary, right? La mejor forma de obtener vocabulario es leyendo y practicando más, okay? Así que hay que hacerlo. En estas dos horas, ya les he dicho, como dice mi mamá, no ajustan. And I want you to do me a favor too. I want you to go to page, donde está esto? Here, go to page 26, okay? Go to page 26 to, and read the information about what. Tomorrow we're going to practice a little bit about two, right? About would and wouldn't. So I want you to please go there and also practice and we're going to make exercises in the class. Now, any questions so far? Nos está dejando tarea. No, no es tarea. Es depende de usted. Si le quieren hacer, haga. Right? Pero yo les aconsejaría que lo haga. Right? Si usted no lee, si usted no practica su listening, no se puede. No se puede. Any questions right now? No? Are you no sure? No questions. You don't have questions. Not now, now, I do have questions for you. Right? Can you tell me when do you use the pass, Javier? When do you use the past tense? <clears throat> when I um, uh, remember experience and listen, 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 list activities. And write activities. To write activities, for but in what tense? For, for practice in the future. In the future. <gasps> in the so future. list, list the activities. Mm -hmm. um, I write it, I write, write it, mm -hmm. um, I could, mm -hmm. I, I, I remember that wire and I, uh, a chicken uh, with uh, uh, mm -hmm. potatoes for tomorrow. Okay, okay, perfect. But my question is, when do you use the simple pass? Right? When do you use the simple pass? Esa es tarea suya, Javier. Que me diga mañana okay. cuando venga para que usar el simple pass. When do you use simple pass? Remember here, we're trying to practice this structure, but we also want to know why. Nosotros queremos saber cuándo lo vamos a utilizar, si no, no nos va a servir de nada. Es como cuando nos ponían en la escuelita a hacer planas, ¿se acuerdan? Por gusto hacíamos esas planas, sin sentido. Si aquí no queremos hacer eso, no queremos repetir las planitas. So what we're going to do is to learn. Okay. Ah, estoy usando el pasado porque quiero decir esto. Right? So that's what I want you to do. Practice. So I see you guys tomorrow. Je uh, today... Yesterday it was Joanna. Joanna no se quedó. Uh, and today is Jose Alexander's uh, time. So tell me. No, no me quedé. Uh -huh. Se me fue. <laughs> okay. And today is for Jose Alexander. Jose Alexander, are you staying? Teacher, ¿cuándo no me quedé? Yesterday. No me dijo. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> well, uh, Jose Alexander, are you going to stay today? No, teacher. No. Okay. Si alguien se quiere quedar en vez de Jose, se puede quedar. <laughs> okay. If you have questions, let me know. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Si alguien se quiere quedar. Bye, Miss. Good night. Bye. Good bye. Hi, Carla. Do you have questions? Hi, Jacqueline, do you have questions? Jacqueline? Jacqueline? Jacqueline?